She can fucking smell the food from an absolute mile away. Honestly, it's incredible. This is the first time she's going to be fed on this size before. She's eating a wiener rat, so this will have to be a pretty good effort. I don't know why you're going to eat it up here. There you go, good girl. So I have the most nicknames for this fucking snake. Her name's Brenya, but she gets called Brenners, Bren, Brenda. She loves swimming and she just pops her little head up above the water and just zips around, so we call her the Brenna dial as well. G'day guys, it's your boy, Nat Sharky Shorten, back for another episode of Fisherman's Diary. And tonight we're going on a bit of a drive. I've just finished work, it's 10 o'clock. Um, I've clocked off a bit earlier than I probably should have because they were getting fucked, but I didn't stay back to help. So I feel a little bad, not bad enough to stay though because I want to go fishing. We're going tonight to the Brisbane River, the upper reaches. Uh, we're going to hike in, and uh, it's a bit of a fucking mission, to be honest, to plan out. But uh, I just really had the urge this week to go and hit up this spot. You may remember it if you don't go check the episodes out ages and ages and ages ago. I think it's in the 30s or 40s, where Jordan and I... It's the late 40s, I just remembered. Mid to late 40s, where Jordan and I went there and caught a bunch of fish. So, heading back there tonight solo. Not camping out, just uh, going to be fishing. So, it might be a couple episodes. might just be one huge one. Might not catch anything. You might not see this. You can never be too sure. Never be too comfortable when the fish are biting, as my friend Kizza says. Anyway, let's head right out there. As I said, bit of a drive, but it's not all bad because I've got a new album that I'm really digging. Uh, then we'll hike in, we'll film it all, and uh, fingers crossed we get amongst a few awesome looking fish tonight. Got everything beginning to hike in. May I just say, holy fuck, it is quiet out here. Like, you can't hear anything. Makes me really spooked. Ugh. Quietness is so much more scary than noise because every little sound that would usually be nothing and you wouldn't even fucking bat an eye about, it just becomes fucking like there's no, listen, there's no crickets, no birds, and nothing. Just silence. Pest management program in progress for the control of feral pigs. Actually, no. Deer. Do not proceed past this point as captured animals may be dangerous. I don't understand. <sighs> this is this a joke? It's just to keep people out, obviously. I've seen pigs in there, but I've never seen never seen deer. And I don't think deer are particularly dangerous. No start date, no end date. Captured animals, how are they, are they like trapping them and leaving them there? Sounds bullshit to me. Let's head into this nature refuge. I'm absolutely terrified about being killed by a feral deer now. Goddamn feral deers. Always attacking people. Have that fucking foam coming out of their mouths and they just charge. Hey guys, game on. We have everything ready to go. We've got prawn on this one. Very lightly weighted. Very, very lightly weighted prawn. And this one we're going to use half cut pilchards. They're not big pilchards because they are just from the servo. Ugh, but nonetheless, I think they'll work just fine. Oh yeah, he wants a piece. Did he eat it? Yep, fish on. There's our first of the diet. Yeehaw, here we go. What have we got? Oh, it's pretty big too. It's not small. First fish of the night here in the Brisbane River. I've got some gloves on because I'm eating some food right now. What do we have? Jeez, it's heavy. I'm not sure what this is at the moment. What do we got there? What is that? Eel, I think. Yeah, that's an eel. That's an eel. On some pilchard. There's our start. Let's get these gloves off. We will jump down the bottom there, net this guy, and bring him up. Actually, this will probably hold. 
Oh shit. What's that? Nice little fucking slap. Come here, buddy. Come on, man. 15 pound, 10 pound leader. Yep, perfect. Well, we're learning what sizes will hold and what sizes won't. Going, because it is fucking cold. Wasn't that cold on the drive out here or during the night, really? But uh, out here in the mountains, underneath them, next to the water, it's quite cold. I'm not gonna have a big fire, just enough to kind of keep me a little warm. Um, also, don't want to let it get anywhere near out of control, given that um, it is coming up to bushfire season. So we'll keep it small and keep it safe. Something looking at the prawn. Oh, that's on. What is that? That feels like a turtle. Is it, did we just hook a turtle? Surely not. A turtle at night, it doesn't seem likely, but uh, it's also almost certainly what's just happened. What do we got there? Oh my god, it is too. Wow. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> I didn't see that coming, honestly. Wow. Alright, let's get this hook out of this little... <laughs> what was that? Something in the shallows there. Just kicked about a little. Oh yeah, this is on. Oh yeah, that's on. Oh, onto the surface. What have we hooked? Here we go. Oh, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, it's pretty heavy, but it's feeling like it's probably going to be an eel now. At this point. Jeez. Oh, it's a heavy fish. Yeah, it's not a bad one. <laughs> I will be honest, it's not a bad fish. This is on a half pilchard. Hooked through the spine. Oh, we're just down here. What do we got there? Eel? Yeah, it's an eel. Oh! My god, that's not an eel. Holy fuck. Uh, lungfish. I think that's a lungfish. Holy fuck. Jump, that was insane, guys. Wow. Let's see what we, yeah it is too, it's a lungfish. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, I'll tell you what, they are pretty fish, but you don't like hooking them. Ah, oh, fuck. I've, I've caught them here a few times before, but I've, I'm gonna get down and net it, because I've gotta get the hook out of its mouth. Um, I'm gonna make sure you use barbless hooks now too. Fuck. I've caught them a few times here before, but I've never caught them um, I think we've only caught them once using uh, pilchard. Which is why I'm not using clam, because every time you use clam or pippy or um, worm, you will take lungfish. But um, yeah, they don't really tend to eat pilchards and stuff, but this one has just said fuck the norm. <laughs> and he's had a fucking crack and he's eaten a half pilchard. I will hold this guy up for you guys to have a bit of a look at before I take it back down. Just because quite a few people would probably never have seen one of these fish before. <clears throat> there it is, the Queensland lungfish. One of the only fish alive in the world that still breathes there. The gorgeous fish really are pretty. Dinosaurs have been around for a long, long time, mainly unevolved. Little dark spots on them are so cute as well. This isn't a particularly big one. They grow a fair bit bigger than this. So, let's get him straight back into the water. And back home. Let's go back in the water. If we do catch any more, as painful as it is, I think we might move spots. Just because you don't want to be taking them. You really don't. Alright, come on mate. You're okay. Come on, buddy. Into the current. Yeah, there he goes. Cool. He's just fine. What's going on here? 
There's a giant weight at the end of this. Oh, there's kick. That's a fish. Okay, so a fish is just eating it and then chilled out under a rock. This feels an eel, I think. A substantial one too. Where are all the fork tails? That's what I really was hoping to get into. They fight so hard in the Brisbane River. They grow pretty big too. Right now, we're not getting any uh, eels. Uh, we're not getting any fork tails. Also, the tandon in here is such a beautiful colour. Oh, wait. Please don't tell me that's another lungfish. Please don't. Surely it's an eel. Oh no, I think it's another lungfish. Please be an eel. Oh, it's fucking huge, whatever it is. Maybe it's a catfish, maybe it is a cat. That's where we're fucking, that's what we're praying for. Come on up, come on up. Come on up. What do we got? Oh no, that looks like a lungfish, yeah that is too. Jesus fucking Christ. That's a much bigger one. Oh no, I don't want to move spots, that's the thing. Jeez, that is a fucking big lungfish, fuck me. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look at this fish. Oh my days. Oh, that's a fucking huge lungfish. Oh my days. We had it. <clears throat> Got him. Okay, let's get him up top and sort him out then. Okay. That one is a fair bit bigger. A fair bit bigger. Substantial lungfish indeed. Alright, back here, buddy. Oh, they smell awful too. They're very slimy. All right, I think we best move spots now. I don't want to catch another one. Maybe that's not the end of the episode. I've already got my bag on. There's something, yeah, there's something. Oh shit, what have we got there? Oh, it wants to run, hello. Hello. What is this then? Please don't be another fucking one. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's packed, like, I've got my bag and my fucking camera bag on. I'm ready to go. Please let me have a lungfish. Surely. Law of averages. Surely it's not a fucking lungfish. If this is a fucking lungfish, Jesus Christ, I don't even know what I'll do. Surely, up, surely it's not going to matter whether we move up or downstream from here. If this is a lungfish, we're going to be catching more fucking lungfish wherever we go. I don't want to stop fishing. We'll try another spot. Oh, you know what? I hate to say it, but I think I know what this fish is. Such a heavy fight. I'm hoping that it's a turtle. Just a big fucking turtle or an eel. Either one of those would be nice. No, holy fuck. Oh my God. Holy shit. That thing is fucking huge. What the fuck? How is there so many fucking lungfish here? Oh my god, this thing is a monster. Holy f fuck, it just threw itself out of the water there. Oh, look at that thing. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> That's gotta be close to 20 kilos of fish. Must certainly be too stressful for all parties involved, so we'll get to that later and we'll cut it. Holy shit. Look at the fucking size of that thing. <laughs> oh, that is huge. That thing is fucking massive. God, that's gotta be one of the biggest lungfish I've ever seen. Oh my fucking god. 
How old do you reckon that thing is? Okay, so even though indeed we did get a bunch of firewood ready and we were going to have a little fire here, there's just too many lungfish and it's not worth fishing in a spot where we're just going to keep catching them. So we're going to move upstream a little bit <clears throat> or downstream, whichever way we can go. Um, but I will cut this into two episodes here. Um, yeah, just they're, they're a gorgeous fish. They really are. They're so fucking pretty and they fight reasonably. They're pretty acrobatic. If they weren't, you know, a protected species, then you might fish for them, but they are, so we're not going to do it. Um, hopefully we won't find any more. If we do find more, we'll just call it. Thing is, they are, a, they are an interesting species. We're not out here targeting them, so I have no problem throwing videos up where they're accidental caught, accidentally caught. But uh, yeah, anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the episode. It was a bit spooky walking in. It's going to be even more spooky walking out. We don't have to deal with that just yet. I'm filming in 27K, Jesus filming in a very high quality well, I should only be filming in 120 maybe that's wrong I'm not sure anyway hope you guys did enjoy the episode considering we are out in in the country I figured uh, a nice little country song would be fitting for the outro so the uh <laughs> the song of the day is going to be Banjo Slam by No One Gets Out Alive really cool dude creates music by himself does the vocals the guitar the bass uh, the drums, and the banjo. Check them out, guys, if you like the outro, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay tuned. More Brisbane River fishing. Let's do it.